right, Roger, thank you. Well, anyone who likes to knit will tell you it is all about the yarn. And don't for a minute think that a ball of yarn is just a ball of yarn. So says Kelly Corbett, a self-described yarn engineer and the owner of Romney Ridge Farm Yarn Company in Woolwich. It's this week's Made in Maine. When will they be here? Well, hopefully in March, but we'll see. <laughs> Any question about the source of Callie Corbett's yarn? Well, look no further than her own backyard. <laughs> Obviously, much more than just uh, than just working sheep. They're your yeah, yeah. they're my friends. <laughs> Kelly has raised virtually each of her sheep from birth. Caring for them, she says, is a job in itself, but one she has grown to cherish. Lambs in the spring, best part. Um, just watching the bonds between the moms and the babies and watching them grow and seeing what I'm going to get for a fleece. It's the natural fleece which eventually becomes the colorful yarns that Kelly sells to customers all across the country. All of her skeins of yarn are spun and cut right here in her basement, then hand dyed upstairs on the kitchen stove. And I layer them in. It's the quintessential small farm operation, which Kelly believes only makes her yarns more appealing. I think the smaller farms, are, people are starting to make that connection with them and how important it is that when you buy this yarn, you're not just getting an average skein of yarn, you're getting something that came, you can see the whole process. From a single sheep 18 years ago, Romney Ridge has grown to include 22 sheep and a handful of goats, from which Kelly produces an array of yarns, each certified organic. To have a product that comes from the earth turn into something like this, and then it becomes something that people are happy to have for years and years to come. And I don't know, it's really special. But nothing, she says, is more special than getting to see a finished product. It's probably the best part of what I do. Her work cable is littered with pictures and actual pieces from customers who've knitted from her yarn. And she really has a lot of fleece. Transforming that once simple strand of her sheep's fleece into a fine work of warmth. It's kind of like my baby <laughs> going off to be something grown up. <laughs> and one thing that Kelly likes to make perfectly clear is that her animals are strictly for fleece and friendship. Never are they used for food. And you know what's really cool about this story, what I really enjoyed is that you kind of get to watch it go from, you know, start to finish. And to that's finish what she product. loves about it, yeah. Beautiful. WMTW News 8 at 6.